or welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a vlog today. I have some work that I need to get done. And then I'm dog sitting, so that's where I'm heading to first is to check on the dogs. I have to stop at Penn State because I am doing like a, a paid job there this semester and they need to make an I-9 form. So I have to stop up there. And then my local newspaper hired me as a freelance writer. So if you don't know what a freelance writer is, basically for a newspaper or just for multiple papers, you can be hired per assignment. And whenever there are just articles that need written, they can ask you to do them. So that's my first like real writing job, which is very exciting, but it is so, not poorly paid, but it's just not like any money like at all to be a freelance writer, which sucks, but it is, you know, good experience and stuff. So anyways, a few weeks ago, I went and did interviews to make my article. I got it all written and then messaged it to the editor and she gave me some critiques and she wants me to just proofread it. I guess it'll get printed soon, which is very, very exciting. Also, I don't know if this, I don't think this is TMI. This is just like something I want to complain about. I have been waking up with bug bites, like randomly. My sheets were just cleaned, so I don't think there's like bugs in there. And I know for a fact I didn't have them whenever I went to sleep because I take a shower before bed every night and there weren't three bug bites there. So if anybody has any tips for what they think is happening because I don't want there to be bugs in my freaking mattress or something like that will actually stress me so much out it's crazy I did minimal makeup today and I don't know if you can tell but I lined my lips and I don't know if it looks bad but like I've noticed with my lips the corners here it's just not pigmented so I think that they look like better and fuller whenever there's a liner on them like actually giving them shape either way I do have really small lips and I've been watching Love Island and they all have these beautiful lips. I know that they have lip filler. I've always had small lips. But anyways, let's go get the puppies out. Sit. Good job. Pooch. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I also wanted to give you guys an update on reading just because that's normally what I do in these vlogs. I have been reading a book for probably the past week and it's actually very good. I'm just having trouble getting through it for some reason. It's actually an arc. It doesn't come out for like a week or two and it's called Strike Zone by Ginger Walsh. A college romance type of book which I think it hits the mark with the college vibe. I really like it and in terms of a romance I think it's very good. It's like a nice slow burn so far. But anyways, in terms of recommendations so far, I really like it, and I'll talk more on that later. Hello. So I'm actually at Penn State right now, and I forgot to tell you guys I was on my way here, but I just did the I-9 form that I came here to do, and before that I did the proofread of my article. There are a few admin things that I need to do for this Penn State job, so I'm going to do that. But I was thinking about going to Dollar Tree because it's super close to here. If you guys don't frequently shop at Dollar Tree, you are missing out. I get my deodorant, I get my like hand soap, and just like little things too because it's only $1.25. I get so much stuff from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to go there today because I do need to restock on my hand soap. But I'm hoping that they have fall items out because fall is my favorite season. Oh, the other thing that I get from Dollar Tree are nail polish. This is a Dollar Tree nail polish, the yellow. I know I don't really apply it that well, but I use it and I use Nail Aid, which is this like nail treatment you can get on Amazon or from Walmart that's only $5. I will show you at Dollar Tree me looking at the nail polish and I'll tell you what brands are good. It might be a voiceover because I don't like talking in public, but either way you will see and you will get the details. So let's go. I ended up not filming in Dollar Tree at all because, oh my god, you can see Pooch in there, because 
there were so many people and I didn't even want to go down an aisle if a person was already down it. And I ended up only spending $11 in some cents. I got a lot of stuff that I needed and a lot of stuff that I just wanted. So let's go into it. Okay, the least exciting things first, the food. I got a little thing of Takis because when these first were like a big trend, I used to eat them all the freaking time and I have not had them since. And he, unfortunately he thinks this is a dog treat and he will not be eating any of it. I looked at them and my mouth watered, so I took that as a sign. Then I got my boyfriend his favorite snack, which are Andy Cap's hot fries. He loves these. I don't like these at all. I don't like the texture of them, but you know, for a dollar, I had to get them for him. You know, come on, say hi. Come here. Hello. So we're gonna keep going with the haul. But he thinks he's a lot smaller than he actually is. Hello. We're postponing the haul because this man is huge. That's enough. You can go down now. Get out of my bag. Get down. Oh. The next thing that I got, it is deodorant. So I use the Suave Fresh one now. I don't like deodorants that are powdery because, you know, the white gets on your clothes and everything. So these, get down. These are, I think, gel. So that's what it looks like. It's clear. So I have the normal fresh one, but this is a berry scent. It smells good. I thought this would be better with like my body care routine because the body care products that I use are pomegranate and like raspberry scented. Next, I did say I needed a hand soap and I found one in the autumn section. Look at that. It is pumpkin sage scented. It's definitely not pumpkin-y at all to me, but this is so cute and you can refill it so Next week is orientation for the freshmen at Penn State, and I am a part of the orientation team. We wear these colors for like our different groups in it, if that makes sense. And my friend and I are like a light gray, and we wanted some accessories to just make it more fun. And these are the only cute things I could find that are light gray, and they're made out of the, out of the same fabric. So there's this cute scrunchie, and then this headband. And this headband had a bow on it and I tried to take it off to see if I could and I couldn't. So then I was like, I'm, I'm just going to buy it because I broke it pretty much. <laughs> so I'm going to see if there's anything I can do to make it cuter because I didn't really like the bow. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to try to do some arts and crafts or something with those. Like I said, I was going to tell you guys about nail polish. So this is Dollar Tree nail polish on my fingers and the brand of this nail polish that I'm currently wearing is LA Colors. It's a little bit of a different tone of yellow. The lighting isn't really that good, but I think you can tell. It's less bright. LA Colors Color Craze, and it came with nail glitter, so I don't think I'll ever use it, but the other brand, and the only other brand that I like from Dollar Tree is this one. It is Color Vibe, and I just got white because I don't have a white nail polish, and I've been wanting to just have white on my toes. The very last thing that I got are these mints, but they are cotton candy flavored. And I've had these before and they're so good. Best cotton candy flavor. Around April, I think, maybe March and April, Burger King had a cotton candy slushy, and we were obsessed with it, but now they don't have it anymore. These taste almost exactly like that. So go to Dollar Tree. These are at the checkout, by the way. That's my Dollar Tree haul. I hope you enjoy it. Do you like that? Okay, I just opened up the Takis and I was gonna try one, but then I was like, this might make good content because I don't know if I still like them, so. Smell test. Spicy. That's what she looks like. <laughs> I think we all know what Takis look like. Okay, the worst thing about these is that it gets on my finger. Mmm. That is so freaking good. That should be illegal, how unhealthy these are for how good they are. That's crazy. Rating, like an eight out of 10, cause it's really spicy now, but like an eight out of 10, these are freaking, these are better than hot Cheetos, in my opinion, but you know, who am I to judge? It's currently 1.38, around like 5.36. These guys need to eat dinner, and then my boyfriend told me he's taking me on a surprise date. 
So around then I'm gonna drive over, see what we're gonna be doing. I'm excited. <laughs> In the meantime, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm back in my bedroom and I'm just gonna do some more reading before I gotta get ready and go feed the dogs, then go on my date tonight. I'm gonna end up taking off my face makeup and restarting because I have like some pimples <laughs> and I will I will show you guys how I do my makeup I guess if you want to see and we're going to be reading some more now I am currently on chapter 18 of the strike zone and I'm on page 203 out of 343 so pretty good there are three hours and 26 minutes left so i don't know if i'll be able to finish it today i'm trying not to rush myself i i just want to read at a good pace and finish a book when i finish it especially just like i just want to get into it you know so that's what i'm gonna do two chapters of the strike zone and the first one that I read was a spicy scene. I'm not the biggest fan of smut. I just would prefer not to have it unfortunately. Like I think it's okay to have like allude to it but I don't need a whole scene about it. So the only makeup that I had on this morning was mascara, concealer, and blush and I'm just gonna take off the concealer so I can redo that. This is just some my cellar water. I still don't know what the date is that we're going on tonight, but I am assuming that we're going to our favorite restaurant. I think there's something so special about my boyfriend and I having the same favorite restaurant because it just makes dates a lot easier. It's like an Asian cuisine restaurant. I love sushi so much, so that's kind of what I'm hoping it is. The first thing that I'm going to do is just use this Stay ITK eye stick because I want to make sure my under eyes are moisturized enough. Then I use this day cream. It's by Skincare Cosmetics and it has retinol in it. This is just a moisturizer that I have so I use it and there's sunscreen in this. I'm just going to use a little bit. I also have eyebrow gel on right now too because I just consider eyebrow gel as a part of my skincare routine. Like, I just need to have that on. The other day, I washed my makeup brushes, so they are all, apart from the blush brush that I used this morning, they are all clean. And I think that might have actually been a reason why I had been breaking out. Like, I'm just going to be so honest with you guys, I hadn't washed them in probably, like, over a year. The first thing I'm going to go in with is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer to make the makeup last. I'm using just like a dollop of this and just gonna let that dry for a little bit before I add anything else on. I do my makeup so out of order. I always do mascara first anyways. I use a eyelash curler. This is an e.l.f. eyelash curler and I really like it. Then the mascara that I use is the L'Oreal Paris Double Extend. Curl your lashes, put the primer on, let it sit for like two minutes, then do this, clean it up, and then do another coat. Let it dry for like at least a half hour, then curl your lashes again, and that's, that's how I get these. <laughs> so out of order, my makeup routine. I don't know how I got that way. I've just always done it like this. Next thing that I use is this Dr. Pawpaw Lip Cheek and Skin Tint, and it's red. So I got this because I thought it was just a normal lip balm. I didn't know it was gonna be bright red. And now I just use it as a cheek tint. And the placement of my blush, I don't really do this in any other season except summer, but I put it like across the bridge of my nose and right here, just cause it gives you that 
sun-kissed look. Next, I am going to be going in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow. This is in the shade 2, Fair Light. Just scrape it off. And then I put it on my forehead, put it here. Then I take this brush. All of these brushes are from BS Mall, um, and I got them all from Amazon. Next, I'm going in with my concealer. I use the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer, and mine is in the shade Light 125 Affogato. Scrape some off. Place it under the eyes, and then just a little bit in the center of my forehead. The spots that need coverage. I do let that sit for a little bit before blending it out. I don't really know why, I just see people on YouTube do it like that, so I'm going to do that too. While that sits, I'm going to lay out my cream bronzer. I use the Fenty Cream Bronzer in the shade 03 Macchiato. I like swirl it around on my finger and then place it down. Sometimes I also just take the brush and put it in there, but to do my jawline, I really like to line it out. Then I just blend out the bronzer with this e.l.f. brush. Now to blend out the concealer, I use this brush. I do think this concealer might be a little bit too light for me at the moment. Next, I'm going to use some warm blush. This is a blush sticks by ColourPop in the shade Mini Me. I just take that blush brush again, the same one, and I just do this and then I pat it on. This is just a beauty blender that I have from, I think, Dollar General. And we're just going to blend it out so it doesn't look as insane. Now that is all of the creams. I like to do all the creams before the powders. So now I can set my concealer. I use the number seven pressed powder in the shade light. <laughs> and mine is so broken, but I refuse to buy a new one because that is still usable. On the bridge of my nose and like down it's like it's so oily like right here just don't do the tip of your nose the smallest amount like right here with that same bronzer brush by brand black radiance and it's in the shade beautiful bronze and i got this from amazon a few probably four, a few years ago by now i rarely use any because this is so freaking pigmented but i like to set my bronzer and then this is whenever I add a bit more on my nose. I think it's the Kiko, Kiko Cosmetics. This is a holiday enchanted blush, but I use this for eyes. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush on that. It's like a cool toned brown, which I think looks a lot better on my eyes than a warm toned brown. And then just use a smaller brush with that same color, like right under the eye. And I think doing that really helps my eyes pop. This is the REM Beauty Highlighter in the shade Miss Mercury. It's like a beautiful light pink. I use this on the inner corner of my eye. And I use just the smallest bit right here. Last, I have two different setting sprays that I use. This is the Stay All Night by e.l.f. It's the Glow Recipe Watermelon Ultra Fine Mist. So yeah, I do both of those. Lastly, for lips, I'm gonna be using the NYX lip liner in the shade Natural. I was gonna tell you guys about the lack of pigmentation in my lips. <laughs> do you see right here? There's no pigment. Right here, but it juts out. So I think I have a lip there because it's just not pigmented. So that's why I like to line it. Okay. 
And lastly, use the Tower 28 lip gloss. And the thing is I'm not here, but I believe this was pistachio. And I love this lip gloss. It stays on for so long. And it actually, <laughs> not me trying to top while I'm putting lip gloss on. It's actually moisturizing. And that's the final look. I should have done it like this. This makes so much more sense than having the camera there. But this is it. I don't know. You guys, let me know what you think. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm not the best at makeup. This is just like what I've learned from a lot of TikTok videos. So if you have critiques, let me know, but don't be rude. <laughs> nighttime now obviously but I just wanted to do a quick outro as you could see I was correct in my assumption of where we were going on our date we ended up going to our favorite restaurant I got the volcano roll which is a I think it's a crab roll with avocado and cucumber and then on top pieces of the crab it normally comes with crunch, but I don't like crunch with sushi. I know that's a hot take because all of my friends love it, but I really don't. It was so good and I didn't even eat all of it because then I also got salmon hibachi and that stuff is so freaking good, especially with a yum yum sauce. If you know what yum yum sauce is, I, I don't even think I would have to explain anything else about that then. If you get a hibachi meal, they also give you a salad and a soup, which are both also very good so 10 out of 10 meal today 10 out of 10 date we sat outside with my boyfriend's grandparents when we got back and then i had a chocolate ice cream cone which is also very good the ice cream flavor was like a chocolate almond fudge ice cream and it was so good i've done just like a singular day vlog before let me know what you guys think do you like just one day in a vlog or do you like reading vlogs where it's like a span of a few days. I think with the YouTubers that I watch, I prefer their weekly routines. I like seeing multiple days because there's different things that happen every day. I hope that you all enjoyed the video. Please like the video, comment, you know, let me know anything in the comments. I always reply to you guys and subscribe because it helps me out. Also, yes, I am driving with the light on in my car, but it is not distracting whatsoever. If you grew up with your parents telling you that this is illegal, it's wrong. They just didn't want it on. I actually kind of like it. I like being able to just see everything in the car, but someone's passing me, so I'm turning it off.